Matt starts us off from Montana this hour. Hey, Matt, how are you? Good. How you doing, sir? Better than I deserve. What's up? I knew I knew that answer was coming. Well, I'll give you the uh, kind of the quick synopsis. I'm a home builder here in Montana. Uh, got my butt handed to me in uh, uh, the recession, and I've been working my way out. I was in the middle of a uh, big commercial and residential subdivision when the recession hit. Uh, that, of course, went on hold, and now I'm still digging out and digging out personally. Um, as of right now, paid off about 450000 personally. Wow. By selling my selling my house, selling basically everything but the kids. Wow. And changing our lives. Uh, me and the wife, uh, we took your class at a church here in town, and that drastically, drastically changed our lives. So uh, we thank you for that. But um, where I'm sitting today is I'm down to personally um, 102000 personally, and, and on uh, my house that I rebuilt after I sold my other house, and that's mostly just my land. I paid basically just on the house as I've gone, so it's sitting really good personally that way. So you have a $102,000 um, mortgage on your home? Correct, yep. Okay. And have um, about to kick uh, my student loan gone, um, down to about the last 4200 on that. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be gone here in about another month. Wow, man, you're killing it. Congratulations. Yeah, well, th- thank you, thank you. And then in the meantime, we decided to have two more kids, and so now we're up to six kids. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so busy lives uh, in the process of everything. Uh, wife started a business debt-free um, and doing really, really well with that. Just uh, haven't really drawn any income off of it. Just keep rolling it into the business, rolling it into the business. And now we're going to start pulling um, consistently about six to seven thousand a month off of that business. Cool. Um, so yeah. What are you? What are you really making? What's your income? Uh, my income um, building now, kind of post recession, I'm making sixty seven to seventy ish a year just myself before okay. the wife's income. Sounds like you're both so, together going to have about a hundred and a half then. Okay. I'm um, basically starting from this point forward with the wife's um, deal. Yeah. What, what what I'm working on now is uh, I had about seven million owed on my subdivision, down to about two and a half as it's back going and getting things developed and sold and keeping the housing market going. So working to never ever ever be back in debt that much. So you, <laughs> you still again. have you still have that. Yes, still have that. Okay. Yes, of business debt. So working through that um, with what I've got going for development wise it's got probably about three and a half um million um once stuff is final platted in the spring so we'll have that paid off and knock on wood have about a million million and a half to show for it depending on you know interest and taxes and all that great stuff okay so the properties are going to sell off at the current burn rate by spring and you will be debt free and have have cleared a million dollars yep good way to go that's a, that's and, quite a turnaround. Yeah, that's quite the turnaround, and it still would have um, probably about five commercial properties debt free at that point that I could continue to sell, or the idea was to keep and you know put commercial businesses on them for lease that kind of thing. Are they paid for? Are they clear? <laughs> they, they they would be by next spring summer. Okay, so they'll be clear. Okay. Yep. Yep. So where I'm sitting today. And that's why I'm having to call to the debt guru here. Is uh, I've got a, a fellow that I have worked with for lots of years, built a commercial building in our subdivision, bought the lots from us, and built a commercial building. He's wanting to sell the building now, and I've been basically managing it for him. He wants to sell it to me, um, work as the bank, uh, set up as a trust indenture, not a contract for deed. And I just important I, I don't know if it's worth getting back in some form of debt again no it's not okay haven't you had enough fun <laughs> no i no i i guess i haven't no i mean I, I definitely have had way way too much fun listen i got a, I, just, I got a bunch of commercial property and i own all of it free and clear and, yeah. and life is good and life is good the last thing i want okay. is a dadgum mortgage I mean, yeah. I don't. I don't need a piece of property. I don't need a deal 
of any kind ever again bad enough to go into debt for it. So what is the, uh, what's this property worth that this guy's wanting to sell you? Uh, it's appraised at a million three eighty. Well, can't you pay cash for it next spring? Basically, and that's kind of the idea well, here. Well, lease, lease it with an option until next spring. So, yeah, he wants to get rid of it now. He just wants to be done. He's moving then you're out not, of the area. Then you're, not, then you're not the buyer. Okay. If he wants to okay. lease it to you until next spring with an option to purchase, uh, I might give him a little money for that, you know, okay. uh, to, to hold it uh, until I've got the money. But I don't have the money, and so I'm not a player. Yeah. Listen, it, okay. it, it has cleaned up my life, Matt. My brain, <laughs> my brain is so clean because it's yeah. a real simple transaction. I look at something, and if I have the money, I can buy it. If I don't have the money, I can't buy it because I don't borrow money. Yeah, and that's exactly what I've done for five years. And you cleaned up a whole that gum mess that, that almost yeah, took you I mean, down, man. I mean, your yeah, head was in yeah. the noose, and you got your head out of the noose. Yeah. Don't stick it back in there. Okay. L- well, learn. that's what I needed to hear, because, you know, I, I, I'm still an entrepreneur. I still see, like, a good deal. You know, I, I hey, I'm a real estate guy. I love months. a good deal, man. Yeah. I love a good deal. But there's no <laughs> possible way I'm going back into debt. The definition yeah. of a good deal, it partly is, can I pay for it? True. And you're not ready. Yeah. Listen, I, I, I'll give you a bet, all right? Okay. I'll, I'll give you a 50, 50% shot or greater that this guy waits till spring to sell it to you. Okay. I'll bet you're you get probably, the... You're, you're probably... Right, because that's basically what my wife said, too. Yeah, you it take is, an option on it. it you, ha- you run it for him till spring. You make him a sweet deal, and you cash out your deal, and you put the cash and go buy the property. If it's a great buy, and if it's something you really want to own. But if i got a million dollars in my hand or a million three in my hand, I'm going to look at that piece of property and go, is this what I want to buy? Do you really? Are you sure it's that good a deal? That's a lot of money. Are you sure? Because I'm going to get, I mean, if it's only worth a million three, certainly don't want to buy it. For a million three, I want to buy. You know, it must be worth two million if I'm paying a million three for it. So, I really want a good deal here because that's I'm walking around with cash, and you know, cash talks, man. And you know what else walks, right? So that that just you know, don't don't do it unless you got the cash structured in a way where your head doesn't go back in the noose, my man. Don't don't just learn the lesson. Don't go back. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. You can do this. You know, that really is a message. Whether you've got $270,000 in student loan debt or $27,000, whether you've got a $50,000 income or a $500,000 income, 